welcome back to my channel my name is praveen and you are watching techie praveen so basically in this video we are going to talk about how to create a responsive app how to uh, create uh, your design uh, responsive so that you can run your uh, designs your app on different different devices different devices means different sizes of devices means you can run your uh, app on uh, on seven inches phone on six inches phone four inches phone and many different different uh, versions different different uh, devices size so let's get started so the problem uh, basically uh, we are facing is uh, if we uh, run uh, i have just created a simple design this is very simple designs i have one uh, uh, app bar and then i have two different containers uh, which i have given the height is 200 width is uh, 600 this is my green demo app uh, container and another container is that uh, whose height is also uh, 200 and width is uh, 600 so both containers are having same uh, width and height so uh, let's see what is the meaning of responsive apps means so uh, if a user runs this app uh, in uh, in vertical uh, device uh, that are in portrait mode then it's uh, okay but if it's run the same device on landscape mode then then uh, the user will face the problem and the problem is that see the problem is it's showing the white screen and it's showing the bottom pixel uh, overflow the reason uh, it's showing the white screen that I have hard coded the height and width of my containers so basically this is the meaning of responsive means if a user use your app on a portrait mode on landscape mode on different different uh, uh, devices scenes or devices or different different screen sizes then your design should be the same your app will always looks the same so let's see how to create a responsive app so basically the um, meaning of responsive is do not give uh, hard coded height and width always uh, use uh, media query uh, to get dynamic height and width of your device so let's get started so basically let's uh, uh, move your device uh, to landscape mode which gives you a blank space why blank space because currently the uh, breadth of the screen gets uh, higher so let's uh, change the breadth first so, so uh, I just I am just changing the breadth of my first green uh, green container. So I am giving media query. So media query is a class which gives uh, which helps you to give uh, uh, how to detect basically how to detect the size of your breadth uh, of your device. So media query dot of context dot size dot it gives you many uh, many thing like uh, height width pixels so this is my height so basically it contains this line will gives you the exact 100% width of your device it, uh, it doesn't matter on which device you are running uh, whatever the device size it always gives you the 100% uh, breadth sorry uh, it should be the breadth it should be, it should give the 100% breadth of your device so let's run this again See, demo app uh, container already covered the exact width. So if I move again this to the uh, portrait mode, it automatically adjusts the. Sorry, guys. Okay. So it will automatically adjust the uh, width of my container. Perfect. So let's copy this to uh, second container. That is my blue color container and let me run this so see it's again cover up my hole so so currently my uh, width of my app is become responsive it doesn't matter on which device i'm going to run this it's always responsive and gives you the exact uh, height and width it always covers the exact breadth of my device so let's uh, this is my height so uh, let's change the breadth of this so uh, same just copy and paste it it will give you the exact 100% height 
but I have two different devices uh, or I have two different containers on my uh, screen. So if I give 100% of this, it will overflow the pixels. Let uh, then and check this. See, because demo uh, app container cover up the 100% of the screen and the blue one will haven't get any uh, space to uh, create. So I'm just giving my, I'm just covering my widget to child, single child scroll view to make it scrollable. And now you can see, currently I have 100% green. And this covers the 100% of this, but I don't want, I want this to cover up the, my 50-50% height. So how to make this, uh, this line gives you the 100% width. So if I multiply this with 0 0.5, then it gives you 50% of the height. How? So, uh, see, if I want 50% of 100, I have to multiply this with 0 0.5. It gives me 50%. If I multiply with uh, this with 0 0.6, it gives me 60%. So uh, right now, I'm this is my 100%. So if I multiply this with 0 0.5, it gives me 50% height. It gives me 50% height. So let's uh, multiply this container also with my 50% height. And let's run this. Refresh this. Okay, there will be one error. Okay. And let me run again. What is the issue? Okay, no issues. Perfect. So it's gives me my hundred percent, uh, fifty percent demo app, hundred and fifty percent my uh, home app, the home container, but. Currently, if you observe, this is still scrollable. So, where it takes the extra space? So, the extra space is because of this app bar. App bar is also a part of your screen. Uh, so, you have to uh, minus the size. Uh, if you want 50%, uh, uh, if you want to, uh, to calculate the screen size, you have to minus the app bar. If you have your bottom navigation bar, you have to minus the size of your uh, bottom navigation bar and also have the status bar so you have to remove the status bar uh, height as well so you have to uh, uh, be very careful while calculating the height of uh, your device currently i have three different widgets on my uh, design one is my uh, app bar and two containers so uh, app bar also uh, taking some space so i am not able to divide this uh, to 50% of my screen and that is the reason it's is currently scrollable. So I have to uh, minus the app bar size. So so let me uh, me create one variable. The name is uh, app bar, and I'm just copy paste this. And I'm using this variable here. The reason I'm storing this app bar into a variable uh, to uh, get the, uh, the height of this app bar. So I have just I just have to minus the height of app bar from my hundred percent of height. So I'm just uh, minusing uh, app bar. This is dot prefer size app bar or have a property name is preferred size through which you can get the size of uh, your app bar so currently app bar dot prefer size give me the size of my uh, app bar so currently this is my height so now i have uh, uh, removed the uh, app bar size from my hundred percent of my height so just copying paste this to my Second height, perfect. Now let's run this. Currently, my app is not scrollable. Currently, it is 50-50% divided. 
it removes the uh, uh, the well, uh, the app bar size and rest, uh, remaining size it divided the remaining size into two different 50 50 percent part and currently it is not scrollable so uh, if you want uh, let me remove this scrollable perfect currently it is not scrollable it is divided my two containers into two different uh, 50 50 percent now if i make this to uh, landscape mode it cover ups the height and width as per the uh, device size see so this is the way you can calculate the height and width of uh, your uh, device so i uh, suggest you guys to always use media query and these co these concepts while creating an app to make your app responsive because uh, everyone is using different uh, dimension of devices everyone have different tabs uh, different uh, lap, uh, different different types of mobile phones uh, tablets and any other devices so uh, this is only for this video i hope you like the video and uh, i am able to explain you that uh, concept uh, clearly if you are having any doubt uh, in calculating the size uh, and using media query please do comment on the comment section and if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel like uh, subscribe and share it with your friends and if you are facing any problem let me know in the comment section i am there for you and i will definitely try to solve your problem as soon as possible thank you